Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Vape Talk oh. UK, episode 199. <gasps> We're one episode away from the big two double zero. Yep, and hopefully by then we shall have the full quota of hosts. Um, so and basically, for some reason, and for some reason, I've gone all smashy and nicey. Right, maybe yeah, ready me. Um, and in, <laughs> in in answer to your question earlier, Chandler, the quality. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to check because basically we've been having potato issues. The quality is oh, yeah. not that shit. I mean, for you, it's, it's not, not great, but it's not terrible. Well, look, as long as they can't tell I haven't actually had a shave today, then it should be good. No, they wanna, can't. You really don't want to be seeing me in uh, in pure HD because that just would not be good. So anything slightly lower quality is actually a bonus. I mean, at the moment, anything greater than 10 FPS would be wonderful. Um, <laughs> so how, how are you all doing? Um, basically, it seems that... Um, Chris last week said that he was going to be in Edinburgh this week, and we he both... did. Right? Yeah, yeah, Chris did say he said, "Oh, by the way, next week uh, I'm going to be in Edinburgh." So it's just you two guys next week, and I, I now distinct, I now distinctly remember Chris saying that, and us going, "Yeah, that's fine. We'll get someone else to join us." And both of us just completely forgot, didn't we? Yeah, pretty, pretty much, pretty much. Completely was forgot. We, we, I mean, we, Mark, Mark, like... Mark's still stateside. Um, yeah. So he'll be back next week. Um, but we're going to do some cool things for next week, I think. I mean, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But we'll, uh, yeah, apparently they can't even see if you're wearing glasses, Chandler. Oh, uh, is my internet that bad? I don't know. Go, go to ookla.com or just type speed test into Google oh, and then hit speed test. Because mine is like standard YouTube Hangouts quality. I oh, know. What is it? Uh, there we go. Speed test. Let's do a speed test with which one shall I pick? Oh, uh, Mark Elliott just said Barker is here stuffing his face with fajitas. Oh, great. Okay, so right, so he's effectively he's just eating. That's 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 good. That's good. You know, we're working our asses off here. Um, yeah, yeah. Apparently, you're right, lagging. By the way, trying to work out how shit our internet is and <laughs> yeah. completely you know right speed test but no i'm not doing it let's just pick the top one sam knows speed test this is where yeah. he forgot that his his other half was actually doing boudoir photos with his webcam and forgot to take off the vaseline off the camera <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am doing a download test. Testing download. Let's just watch really? the frame rate tank. Yeah, is this where it all all just completely? Okay, yeah, it right. was, that was good. What is it? Uh, yeah. Twenty. No. Ten. No, it's not that bad. Okay. Is anyone yeah. using like Netflix right now? Can you go tell your family to just turn all of their devices off? Yeah, I will get caned for that. I, I, it's just not going to happen. I've, I've yeah. got two kids and a wife. No, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. In the other room. Oh, by the way, can you just turn the internet off? You're not allowed to watch anything or do out. Uh, yeah, my download speed is about 16.8 megabytes per second. That is shocking. Upload um, speed? Two. Exactly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, how do you know that? How did you know it was two? Because anything on standard broadband is two megabytes upload. Um, oh, okay. Anyway, so, yeah, I think he has gone back to the dial-up days. I don't know, yours is normally like the best image out of all of us, Chandler. And today you are... Normally it's quite good. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on because we're not using the internet any more than we normally do. Mm. But... Is what it is. Anyway, yeah. what are we vaping on, Chandler? What are we vaping on? Um, um, shit, I've left it in the other room. Oh, so organized today. So in that case, we'll go for we we'll go for this one because I literally put it onto my smock here, um, just to check it. But I've got my coil art salt with I've actually got some offended by fenders in there. Oh, very um, nice. 
There we go. That's it. So coil art salt, and I'm running it at a tremendously large. Yeah, like I'm showing it to the camera, so you can actually see the incredibly pixelated um, 13 watts. I can't even see that there's a screen there. If I'm honest with you. Oh, okay. Screen there. I'll tell you what, Chandler. Just do just do a cheeky refresh on the Hangout. Cheeky refresh. A cheeky refresh. Okay. All right. And okay. that and and now it's me on my own. So. Whilst Chandler's doing a cheeky refresh, uh, I will talk to you about what I've got. So today I am vaping. Actually, no, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for Chandler. Um, in the lead up to episode number two hundred, I want to do a giveaway of some stuff because oh, he's back. Uh, Isn't that better? Is it? it? Not, not really. No. There you go. <laughs> um, well, whilst you're away, um, for those five oh. ten seconds, I just started talking yeah. about me wanting to do a giveaway next week. So I'll, I'll quickly finish. Okay. And then go back to what you, baby. Yeah, yeah, correct. So I want to do some giveaway stuff now. I've got some juice that I want to give away. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, like brand flavor wise, but I'll find something. Um, and if the rest of the hosts are feeling generous, I'd like them to find something. No, Chanda's not. Okay, Chanda gets no. generous. Me? Yeah. You kidding? To find something from us to give away to you guys it will all be one package so there will, will be one should we do one winner right. or multiple winners mm. let's see let's see what we get well let, let's see the let's let's see the little um treasure chest that we managed to put together and we can decide whether it's actually worth splitting or whether we because presumably because presumably you'll have some stuff there i'll have some stuff here so we, we might get two or three parcels yeah, yeah, okay. But what we're going to do is we're okay, multiple. Oh, hello, Reverend James Morley. Hey, thank you for joining us. Uh, I don't want a channel drip tip. So, what we're going to do is we'll put up a thing, uh, probably tomorrow on the Facebook page with ideas for giveaway. Uh, probably some of the bits we'll include. Uh, one of the things I'm going to include, and I know these are now sold out, is I have one of the long sought after Alpha 3 bottle cap removers, so that will be in there. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I know John sold out at Just Add Nick, and I know Riyadh has run out already. Them. Yeah, oh, oh my well, lord! Them, yeah. <clears throat> and um, I, I mean, Riyadh doesn't have any more. No? Um, so yeah. if you can find them elsewhere, great. But I'm going to throw one of those in because they're cool. Yeah, um, they are very cool. We're going to do some juice. I've got yeah. some other bits and bobs that we can probably do. So we're going to come up with an idea of what to do for this giveaway. If there's anything you guys want to see in it, or anything that you think. We should do it, you know. Do you want it to be like a quiz, or like a fastest finger first, or just a straight random number generator? Although I don't, I'm not a massive fan of those. Yeah, because they're so exciting, aren't they? Or, or as 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 Chris or or Mark got one of them spinny wheel things, you know, that they always have at an expo. What like the clack 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 the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the thing is, is we could fit all the names of the viewers on one of those. <laughs> Quite probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put everyone's name on it. That'd be that'd be that'd work great. Everyone in chat gets to gets a, their own little section on it. Yeah, I actually like Orgy's idea. I think what we should do is just go to JV's shed and whatever we can find, give it away. Yep. Yeah, vape stuff, in cards, cartoon stuff, in including that twenty liter drum of um, uh, Capella V One custard. Is there a twenty liter drum of Capella V One custard in his shed? Yeah. It might not be 20 litres, but it's a bloody big... Yeah, he's got a lot of it. And finally, you could uh, recreate all of your old favourite juices before we decided that Capella V1 wasn't good for you. Be <laughs> <laughs> um, honest, it wasn't. It? It's, yeah, anyway. Yeah, anyway. So yeah. we're going to do some kind of giveaway. I've got to talk to the others first because naturally 50% of us are slacking. Um and we will come up with an idea and then we'll do a big old giveaway on the show. It's probably going to be fairly ad lib. And on that note, tonight, because it is just the two of us, we will talk until we either die or run out of content. So you'll either get your full two hours or it might finish a little early, but hey, it's cool. We'll see how things it's, go. Yeah. We'll see how things we'll go. See. Yeah, yeah. It's up to you guys to give us things to talk about because I am keeping a close eye on the chat. Moist keyboards. Oh yeah, of course he was pouring water out of his keyboard, wasn't he? Oh god, yeah. Mm. Yes. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, shed, <laughs> the, the shed seems to be no more. We haven't seen him in the shed for for a good few weeks. You, you would actually think middle of summer, ideal opportunity for him to be out oh, in his shed, and and now he's going to be under the stairs. 
Mm. Yeah. He's just going to get a big fan like on his balls, just like, and all we're going to be able to hear is his fan, his ball fan, his ball fan, his ball fan. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Right. What, what 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 are you, what are you vaping on again, Chandler? You, oh yeah, you, yeah. Sorry, so yeah. you've done the salt on the the, the blurry smog. Yeah. The the other thing that I'm vaping on is my uh, noisy cricket. Stuart, I did message you, didn't I? Yes, I did message Stuart. Stuart had kindly in chat last week said he would try and repair my old um, noisy cricket. Um, I have actually sent it to him. Wow, um, awesome. So so uh, I did only uh, send that today. So hopefully you'll get it tomorrow, Stuart. Um, but I've got my, no my other noisy cricket with the um, Scrape Enduro that I have just fallen in love with, um, except it needs re-wicking. And I thought I would re-wick it while everybody else was talking amongst themselves. And again, completely forgetting that Chris wasn't here. Well, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, that that is a fairly large fail on our behalf. It, um, it is. Our, 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 our backup well, slave, Jimmy, is ill. Um, yeah, bless him. Sorry, Jim, mate. He's, I, I, don't, I don't know whether he's watching, but he's... he's, he's poorly sick and dying and and to be fair i'm probably going to be sneezing sneezing sniffing um all through the show as well uh, oh, so yeah go get well soon to jimmy <laughs> oh, what's what i say it's just going from strength to strength right now hey look, oh. at least we're on the air at least we're not 45 minutes late and We've got stuff to talk about. I promise we have stuff. We have got stuff to talk about. Okay, we're filling at the minute, but, you know, hey. So, uh, Kaz, mm. what are you vaping on? Oh, well, I have my beautiful purple and gold set up today, which actually looks a lot better than I realised it would. Um, so it cost you an absolute fortune. Yeah, man. Broke a leg. I had to get a second mortgage on my rented flat. Um, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Um, so I've got the minikin. You got a logbook, logbook, logbook loan against the Civic, didn't you? Oh, wait a sec. Um, Simon's just said, I think you should ask a question that cannot be Googled for the answer. Ooh. Yeah, but you can find anything on Google. Yeah. What number am I thinking of right now? No. Um, anyway, so I'm, yeah, I'm using the minikin V2. I've got my berserker on top. And in this is a, a new test. I right. will be reviewing, basically, I was kind enough to be given the entire PodSalt range from PodSalt, um, which includes all of their, like, you know how companies are doing fusions now, so they're teaming up with other flavors and other companies to do, like, salt versions of their liquid. Yes. Well, PodSalt have teamed up with Jammin. Now, I know if Diddy's watching, uh, which it doesn't look like he is because he's a slacker, or he's just not in chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, this is his favorite juice of all time, and I've got the salt version of it. So it's jamming blueberry jam tart. Uh, okay. Freshly wicked, freshly coiled in the berserker. Uh, mm. a, a staggering. Oh, I don't know if it's going to focus on that, actually. Uh, there we go. 14 watts. 14 watts. I am yes. utterly, utterly blown away. So I'm going to have about nine years of battery life. Um, <laughs> Hi, Michael. Nice of you to join us. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Um, and I've also got my second mini fit. This one's gold. I left old Bluey in the car. Um, okay. And in this, I have got some six lick salt melon on my mind, which turns out it kills pods far slower than it killed my berserker coil. Um, okay. I I've just noticed that. Really? A lot Salts seem to kill the pods far slower than they're killing the wicks on my berserker. But maybe it's just the berserker keeps getting airlocks. So your berserker, mm. uh, so so a, a built coil. Pod salts don't like it, but yep. the but it's it's so it's like they're happier with pods. Way happier with pods. Now I don't know whether it's an airflow thing or whether you know they specifically designed the resistance and the power and whatnot to go with this particular consistency of juice and vape and whatnot. But this is actually mm, quite pleasant. Um, okay. But melon on my mind is like a, a melony mix. There's like four different melon flavors with a bit of cream and a bit of this and that and all sorts. Well, it's six licks. I mean, if you had six licks, which... Yeah. Uh, was it Orgy I sent the six licks to? It was Orgy I sent the six licks to, so he'll know what it's like. And actually, despite six licks' massively ostentatious uh, marketing campaign, um, 
which you know is fantastic as far as i think they're one of the better looking companies out there their juice actually is backed up by that so yeah, yeah. um what else well some talking of, talking of talking of melon mm. um that's that's what i'm putting into my uh, into my scrape right what did you think of it i'll be honest with you i like this one mm. um I, i'll tell you exactly what i thought of the others um where are they that's what i thought of the others Wait, was that the bin, or were they just untouched? They're just untouched. Yeah. See, um, I, I picked up the whole range at Vape Jam, um, and honestly, I just wasn't that impressed. They look well, a bit wank. Well, let's let's be honest. Right, this one, uh, a cool, sweet vape, black grape and lime flavor bubble gum. That last word just fucked it. There we go. Uh, that's what I think to that one. <laughs> Please tell me that's uh, a bin that you're dropping it in. Oh, yeah. Straight in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this one? Uh, I can't get this one out of the rack. There we go. This one is sweet shop favourite that tastes of juicy strawberries to leave it's strawberry laces. Strawberry. La Who wants to vape strawberry laces? Did you get the double, the double lemon sherbet? Uh... Hang on a minute. This one's a cocktail ripened mangoes and juicy strawberries topped with fresh mint. Actually, I might try that one. There you go. So <laughs> far. That went in the uh, recycling bin. <laughs> <laughs> so far, one. What are, what are these ones? Uh, I'm not even going to open these because I can't open it. Black currant. I don't like black currant for starters. Really? Uh, no, not so much. Um... Ripened blueberries, raspberries, minty freshness. Now, whenever it says minty freshness at the end, I'm always kind of like, because that's that's this one has got a hint of mint, and I like this one. I t tell you so what, I'm right? Give that one a go. My entire version of that range, all of the samples I got, right, is completely untouched. I haven't opened a single bottle. So, should I put it in next week's giveaway? Your, uh, the, well, I, I tell you what, I'll put the ones that I don't like in. <laughs> Yeah, because then what we can do is we can continue to spread misery amongst the vaping world. Um <laughs> No, you know what happens, don't you? You know what you know what happens, don't you? Is, is people go, yeah, bubblegum. Um, I'll tell you what, here, have that. Try that. It's bubblegum flavour. There you go. Try it. There you go. Um, and then they get it and they go, yeah, I've got bubblegum flavour. Do you want to try that one? <laughs> and basically all that happens is these bubblegum bottles just, just rotate around different people. No, no one actually stops, opens it, and vapes it. Who the hell vapes bubblegum? I mean, do you ever remember everybody in chat vape? You know, actually go into a shop and go, "Hmm, I fancy a bubblegum flavor." Literally, no one. If you do, get out of the chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but did you ever remember like being at the pub and running out of cigarettes when you smoked, and then going to someone and being like, "Oh yeah, can I can I bomb a cigarette off you?" And they go, "Yeah, but it's a menthol," and you're like, "Nah, I'm all right, mate." Um, it's all right. Uh, yeah, I've done that. Yeah, yeah. And my missus, that's what my missus smokes. So, yeah, and, and um, I think half of the reason that she smoked menthol in the first place was because then I wouldn't nick her cigarettes. Yeah. Well, the, the best one is like, people used to just say it's a rolly as if that would stop you. And it's like, no, mate, I can roll. It's fine. Mm. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I might stick my juicier range. This is amazing, though, because I was having the flavors described to me. By the guy who supposedly made them. What did you say about the? Because you said, "Have you got the double lemon fizz?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Oh, is it? Okay. It, it's not double lemon. It's more like lemon and a half, but it's not terrible. Okay. So, yeah, they they seem basically the range is either fruit with a hint of mint. Yeah. <laughs> or candy flavors. Yeah, pretty much, and I mean. So, the guy did say that they're designed to be sold in like supermarkets, petrol stations, yeah. that sort of thing, but with a better quality. So, I mean, as soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, it does look like it. If I'm honest, did it's... you did you see the full range that the, what they've got? Because they 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 start because they've got three different. They've got juice. They've got... I can't remember the names now. Well, uh, Jam got... only had one range, which was the juicier range, which is what the one you've got. Ah, but the, the expo. It, they've got all of them. They've got the because they've got the ten mil rain, the ten mil bottles, mm. which I think are called juice. 
Yeah. I've got a juice salts range that are called Juicy. Oh, God. And the 60 mil short fills are called Juicier. Hence the different names, you see. But the 10, 10 mil pre-mix bottles. So they've got the, they, they've got those that they are pitching at um, garages. Ah, uh, okay. And, you know, they're 10 mil juice or juicy ranges but I, I know from a consumer point of view if i walked into a vape shop and saw that on the shelf the first thing i do would do is just completely ignore it like i wouldn't even get to the point where i tried the flavors because it just looks so drab now that's not saying that it has to look mad that. colorful and has to have all sorts of shit wait say sorry say something and then it will switch to you sorry me haha -ha, this you think that looks drab uh yeah because every bottle is the same oh wait i'll present you two oh, yeah no, that's right. You're, no, you're quite right because every every bottle is exactly the same, bar the bar the thick coloured thing. You you yeah. might have to do another refresh, Chandler. You've potatoed pretty hard. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, uh, just talk to yourself a minute. You're fine. Um, so essentially, with that range, whilst I think they're quite the, the flavours aren't unpalatable. Hi, IVC. Thank you for joining us. Um, the flavors aren't that unpalatable, but you, you'd never get as far as trying them simply because you just get bored of them before you've even looked at them. But I, I might, I mean, I might throw a couple of them I in. I don't want to put too much pain on someone. What these ones? Well, I, I think, I think the problem is if I see these, um, if I, <laughs> yeah, if, if, if I'd seen that as a range in a super, in a supermarket or a garage, and then I went into a vape shop and saw that on the shelf and recognised it from that range, I would just go, nah. Mm. You, you, like I said, you wouldn't get as far as trying it because you're just, you just... You, you, you suddenly get this mental impression of it is a shit... It, it's a cheapy shit brand. And exactly. I mean, it's that, it's that old adage of you eat with the eyes before you eat with the mouth, right? So yes. I'm not saying it has to be appealing to kids or have loads of... But <laughs> base, basic good design is a fairly decent requirement. I mean, look. I didn't think I, I didn't think I didn't think it it was. I don't think it's a terrible bottle design. Um, it's better than a plain label, I suppose. But it's pretty. I mean, but then look at Pod Salt, man. Look how clean that looks. It just oh right. I'm going to show you this. Give me two seconds. All right, go on then. Okay, he's gone. Yeah. And he's back. Okay, so this is the sample box from Pod Salt. Look how banging that is. Like, it just looks the shit. And then, ha ha, lots and lots of Pod Salt. So these guys have put work in. It's simple, it's clean, it's crisp. Yeah, okay. It's professional, and there's nothing there appealing to kids, but that is good design. And I think that is something that is important. Um, I mean, um, super good, do fantastic design. Six licks. Good. I mean, I could go on forever about fantastic design, um, but well, I was just, uh, I was just thinking, like minister, like, ministry Sorry. of custard. Let me just present you. Can you, can you see? Uh, just now, yeah. the, the the range they've got for the custard range, the bottle designs are exactly the same for each of the different um, flavors, um, but the bottle. It, again, different colour, um, and I haven't got another one to give you an example to hand. Oh yes, I have. Hang on. There you go. So custard cream. So exactly the same bottled design, but just different colours. Yeah, I mean, and that's fine because there's an obvious um, difference in what's going on there. You can see that, but a tiny little coloured band around the top is just is just. Oh, your quality came back. I can see your pores. Uh, Hello. I'm good. <laughs> what did you change? I don't know. Right, show us those bottles again. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you know, I think my antivirus was running in the background. No. Right. I'm just about okay. to... Uh, wait, how do you invite someone? All right, here we go. So I'm going to invite Mark. Are you telling me he's still blocked from when you booted him out last week? <laughs> I thought it was I don't believe be you did that. Link. I thought it was going to be. It's like I know. In instead of instead of him going, you just booted him out and and denied him access again. 
right so basically what happened is pre-show um he dropped in and we were having a little chat whilst he was in the states and he disappeared so i was like okay well we'll just kick him out he froze he just Uh, froze completely didn't he his screen i'll kick him out of the chat i didn't realize i'd permanently banned him from any vape talk hangouts he hadn't just he hadn't just um just just he he literally kicked him out that was it it just said eject. Thou shalt like, not return. There was no warning that it was going to be like permanent bannery. <laughs> Mark was just going, I oh, can't go back in. It's like, that'll be cats. <laughs> okay, he's going to be on in about 35 minutes because he gets back to the apartment. They got better Wi Fi there. You've okay, potatoed sorry. again. Get rid of your oh, antivirus. For God's sake. Ah. <sighs> oh. I like Rob Rob's comment. We can see clearly now the vape is gone. Um, <laughs> we can see clearly now the vape has gone. So Reverend James Morley's made a decent point. Does anyone risk a liquid based on bottle looks or do people tend to go on flavor type and or reviews? I think it's a good balance of both. But as a consumer who doesn't know about vape reviews on YouTube, who doesn't know about Facebook or vape hype or any of that bollocks, someone who literally, they vape, they go into a shop to buy juice, I promise you the very first thing they look at is bottle design. And if they don't like the look of it, they won't even bother to try it. It's got to catch, it's got to catch your eye to start with. Of course it does. I mean, it's, it's like, it's like going to Expo. If you, if you go to Expo, it's the stall that, uh, it's the stall that catches your eye that you go and that you go and look at. Although to be fair at Expo, it's almost reverse because the bigger and louder the stall is, the less I want to go to it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I must admit that the the, um, the one with all the zebras outside and the um, uh, the women on stilts, I I didn't actually. I, I gave it a complete wide berth. Never went anywhere near it. Apparently, they have twenty six flavors or something stupid. It's like I am not sitting here really? trying every single one of your twenty six flavors. I forgot you're still on uh, present. Am um, I still on present? Oh, okay. I've been on present you, for ages. You are. So uh, everybody, everybody wants to see my uh, my beautiful face. It's understandable. <laughs> Of course, of course. Right, so we don't have to worry about his potatoing for a second because we're going to do the news. Dun, dun, dun. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got news. We actually have news. We actually have news. And our tangents are actually vape-related. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, so let me do a quick screeny share. Oh, I need to actually get it on the right. There we go. That'll do. So screen share, share, and... I, I, I'm just talking a lot in my head. Right, okay. So, I, actually, I actually put some stuff in here as well. Well, I know. One did. link. It doesn't matter. It's still news. So <laughs> basically, PMI, i.e. Philip Morris International, um, they've suspended their own online ICOS campaign as young influencers are exposed. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how the law on advertising products is um, you have to look over 25 in order to promote a product or be in an advert that is tobacco related. So basically... So so, so even if you're you 35, if you look like you're 12, you, you, that's it. Not you have to, you have, you'd have to then prove that you're over 25 in order for the advert to be allowed. So... Um, it says so they, still, they still wouldn't allow it if, if they if you, well no they wouldn't if you didn't look yeah anyway sorry carry on so it says PMI's marketing standards prohibit it from promoting tobacco 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 products okay. with youth oriented celebrities or models who are or appear to be under the age of twenty five in response to photos sent to the company by Reuters of social media influencer Alina Tapelinin Tapelina from Moscow who's listed at age 21 on Instagram, PMI said that it had launched an internal investigation. <laughs> so in other words, this uh, influencer has been promoting ICOS. She's only 21. Um, which actually leads me on to another thing later on, although I don't know whether I actually did it, but um, never mind. Uh, it says, we have taken the decision to dis- suspend all of our product-related digital influencer actions globally, PMI told Reuters. Whilst the influence- influencer in question is a legal age adult smoker, she is under 25 and our guidance caused called for influencers to be 25 plus years of age. This was a clear breach of that guidance. Um, they were quick to add that no laws were broken. However, we set high standards for ourselves and these facts do not excuse our failure to meet those standards in this instance. We were deeply disappointed to discover this breach and are grateful that it was brought to our attention. Following this, the US FDA approves heat not burn devices. Of course they do. What? (laughs) Yeah. What? (laughs) What the fuck is going on? I honestly... So, 
Following a lengthy review process, the FDA has uh, approved ICOS, which means that the HNB heat not burn device will now be for sale across the US. Um, although it says following a rigorous, rigorous science-based review through the pre-market tobacco product application pathway, the agency determined that authorizing these products for the US market is appropriate. Now this is mental because PMI have money coming out of their fucking eye holes, right? So of course they can pay to have their products pushed through the FDA process, knowing that no vape product can actually be FDA approved because no one can afford it. Um, they're, they're trying to ban vape products based on health reasons, and then they go and approve a tobacco product. Approves heat not burn. Fuck my life. Right. So really? so, so when's that, when's that happened? Because because FDA weren't going anywhere near. Excuse me. Weren't going anywhere near heat not burn. No, of course not. What it says, whilst today's actions permit the tobacco products to be sold in the US, it does not mean that these products are safe or FDA approved, added the agency. It's like, what? why are you approving them if they're not safe? That is the point of you. Or approved. <laughs> hang on. Wait, hang on. Yes, we're going to approve it. We're going to approve this product, but that doesn't mean it's approved. It's a soft approval. What? It's like when you go and ask your mum as a kid, can I do this? And she's like, eh, I'm not really happy about it, but go on. Yeah, well, yes, but if you, you know, if if you end up breaking both your legs, don't come running to me. Exactly. Uh, if you end up killing millions of people through cancer-related avoidable illnesses, don't come running to us. Um, yeah, oh, fuck's sake. Right. So, does it? Does this mean that? Yeah, but you can still buy. Is is this the same thing as vaping then? Because at the moment you can still sell vaping products; they're just not. But you can't release new vaping products. Oh, of the fuck. Now, now, this is this is the most surprising thing. Now we all know who Kassar are, and if you don't, they are the Consumer Advocates for Smoke Free Alternatives Association, and they've been fighting the vaping thing quite hardly, quite hard, quite hard against these sort of rules. It says at the bottom, yeah. F Kassar supports the FDA's decision to approve ICOS for market in the United States. It is vital that people who smoke are aware of and have access to non-combustible alternatives to cigarettes and these products are enjoyable. That is weak. I'm sorry, that is weak. Just because it's not That's a cigarette. Enjoyable. <laughs> no, that is... Yeah. <laughs> all, the research, all the research basically says for, for every... Um, basic, basically, an ICOS cigarette is about a quarter of a normal cigarette. Well, you, you know the reason for this, right? So, I so got, every, every every four ICOS cigarettes you smoke, you're effectively smoking a single cigarette. Yeah, but that's not really, you know, that's not really harm reduction. I mean, that, well, no. It's, 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 like, it's, it's, it's like basically all you're doing, if, if you've got someone who smokes 20 a day and they transfer to... Um, five a day transfer to, to transfer to ICOS, then they're effectively smoking five a day. But... Uh, any doctor, if you went to a doctor and, and said, how many cigarettes do you smoke? And I went five a day, they would want me to quit. Of course they would. Now, the thing is, ICOS technology is based on uh, like marijuana herbalizers where it, 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 it heats the, the, the um, it heats the cannabis to a point where it combusts, sort of, and you get, you it get, vaporizes. Your, it vaporizes. Yeah. And you get your vapor. Now, THC, which is the bit that a lot of weed smokers want to get, is actually the transfer is actually improved through that vaporizing process. Nicotine. Sorry, I tried to hit the mute and missed it. Sorry. <laughs> nicotine is not improved through that process. You actually get less nicotine transfer through heat, not burn, than you would through a normal cigarette. So they've taken a they've taken a technology designed for another thing, tried to adapt it, and actually made it worse. So, good on you, PMI. Um, and this is their last ditch attempt at keeping tobacco relevant. Anyway, next. So this is this is a good one. It says the FDA has been ordered to regulate e-cigs and vapes by a federal judge. Um, what? Yeah. So basically, in the latest challenge against vaping, the FDA is being forced by a federal court to vacate previous industry guidance and begin expediting the process of regulating that product. In other words, get the fuck on with it. Um, now, this is due to a, a so-called lack of action taken on these deemed tobacco products, such as e-cigarettes, under the FDA's interpretation of the Tab Tobacco Control Act, and they must act in expediting regulatory requirements. Uh, 
Um, now it says specifically Grimm's decision, and this is not Grim Green. This is someone called Paul W. Grimm, the United States District Judge. Um, oh, his surname's Grim. Grim. His okay. surname actually Grim. Yeah, forces the so FDA to. Vac- so if those, if those two actually, they they could make a double act, and it could be Grim and Green, or it could be Grim and Grim, or it could be the brothers Grim. Uh, yeah, but Grim Green, his surname's Green. So I, I know, but I was uh, ne- never mind. Yeah. Ruined it. Um, so it says <laughs> the decision to force the FDA to vacate a 2017 guidance delaying pre-market tobacco applications um, to a later date. The agency utilizes its discretionary power as the enforcing agency to implement the deadline. Uh, basically, like I said just now, it's this judge saying, get the hell on with it, sort your shit out, fuck all the other shit off that you've done, and just get on with what you're supposed to be doing properly as a job. Right, and the rest of that is horribly, horribly dry, so I'm not going to bore you with it. Because it is okay, but basically, 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 what's happened is a judge has told FDA to just get pull the finger out and get on with it. Yeah, regulate this industry so we know where we stand, and then we can start making headway into oh, changing okay. it or adjusting it. Right. Right. Okay. Apparently, I've got cookies, so we just hit there. You go. All right. So this is on the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, the e-cigarette maker Jewel tries to get ahead of SF restrictions on vaping products. SF being SF San Francisco. Francisco. Got you. Yeah. So hometown e-cigarette giant, obviously San Francisco, is working behind the scenes to get reluctant San Francisco lawmakers to the table for a set of jointly negotiated controls aimed at curb curbing the sale of vaping products to teens. The idea is for restrictions instead of the all-out ban. Um, however, okay. uh, the, the supervisor, Shaman Walton, uh, has refused to sit down with the nicotine giant. So this week, Jewel and the coalition of corner grocers and adult smokers took out papers at the San Francisco Department of Elections so they may begin collecting signatures for a ballot initiative that would impose restrictions on online and bricks and mortar e-cigarette retailers. Um, yeah. So they're basically going, right, this huge ban is coming. We need to get in there first with some proposed restrictions because it's going to be much easier to get those proposed as an alternative rather than trying to retrospectively remove the ban. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you see yeah, what I mean? If anything, if anything gets implemented, if anything gets implemented, it's a fucking nightmare to try and un- implement it. But if they're presented with a legal and usable alternative i.e proper restrictions proper monitoring etc etc then they're much more likely to at least consider the alternative yeah so the problem is with jewel I, I, yeah it, it has seemed it does seem to have taken off in a big way in the states but i mean look at the look at their packaging it's not child friendly is it no and this is the thing oh, though stretch jewel is shooting it looks, it looks it, it looks like a pack of condoms and I mean, I don't actually care that it does look unattractive. You know, the thing is, right? Jewel keeps shooting themselves and the vaping industry in the foot, right? They've got so massive that they keep causing such controversy. And now a lot of outlets in the States, media outlets, go, well, Jewel is vaping. Outside of Jewel, there is yeah. no vaping. So if Jewel are fucking up, so is all of the vape industry. Um, and it will be Jewel's fault that it gets banned across the States because of their cock ups. Yes. Um, uh, right. So. Nightmare. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so this this bloke uh, Walton has said that they are trying to cure people of nicotine addiction when they're actually just trading one form of addiction for another. Really, that's not down to the company. That's down to the it's, user. Um, it's it's not curing. Vaping has never purported to cure nicotine addiction in any way. We don't say that this Basically. is a cessation device. Um, well, technically, yeah. yeah. Only because we've not been to- we've been told not to. It is a smoking cessation device because you don't smoke with it. Oh, but it's not officially um, a smoking. It's device. not officially a smoking cessation device. It bloody ought to be. Yeah. Um, but and, and and I don't think we should skirt round the fact that it should be either. I don't think we should be not saying it helps you stop smoking because how many people in chat um, used to smoke and now don't? And it's the whole reason with vape. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, um, okay, we like a bit of nicotine. Hey ho, and this is just like alcohol. I mean, which 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 is worse, alcohol or vaping? <laughs> 
But it's, it's like saying, tell you what, guys, you drink nine pints a night. How about you drink four glasses of whiskey? Instead, it's less this, it's less that, exactly. It's just trading one thing for another. Now, that's not to say that you can use whiskey to give up drinking beer. Like, we, we do this so that we don't smoke. It's an alternative. And some... Yeah, but, but, yeah, uh, uh, in other I words, I don't, know whether, you... I don't know whether comparing vaping to whiskey is a, a, a... <laughs> that was a bad example. Um, uh, more, more like, I don't know, shandy. Let, let, let me give you a real life example. So someone will come in to the shop and they'll say, I've got COPD, like a lung condition. Um, will this help me get better? Now, I cannot go yes. I can go, well, this can help you stop smoking, which can only be an improvement because smoking we know is bad for lung conditions, but I cannot give you medical advice. It would be irresponsible and wrong for me to do so. Um, no, let me just undo this shit. Whereas if somebody, yeah, whereas if somebody comes into your shop and goes, I've spoken to my medical professional and they've suggested that I try vaping instead of smoking. Yeah, and and then we can go, okay, we'll uh, set you up. What a brilliant idea. Hmm. I mean, I had one woman the other week, and she just goes, look, will this make my um, asthma better? And I went, I don't know. And she goes, but will it? And I went, I don't know. I don't know why you have asthma, so I don't know that this is going to make any difference to your asthma. You might have asthma because of the time of year and hay fever, for all I know. Is she inferring, is, is she inferring for start? Is, is she inferring that she's coming into the shop and going, will it make my asthma better because I smoke? Yes. Now her asthma may so, be yeah, your your comment, like you said, is I can't tell you whether you get whether this will affect how this how vaping will affect your asthma, but you won't be smoking. Yeah, exactly, and uh, and that's what I said. I said, look, I know that vaping is going to be better for you than smoking because of years of experience of doing this. Um, I cannot say that it is going to improve or make your health condition worse. I, I had asthma when I, when I was a kid before I'd even known what a cigarette was. Um, but as an adult, I didn't have asthma and smoking didn't cause my asthma to come back, luckily. So it really is, you know, yeah. You, you, we can't say that it is a smoking cessation device, bringing it slyly back to the point. And... <laughs> But you're right. You, I see what you mean. Um, and there's, shall I put, shall I bang up the news that you found, Mr. Chandler? Well, it's, it's uh, I feel we're just banging on about Jewel again. But um, yeah, I found this, yeah, I found this quite interesting. Basically, there was an article uh, about, yeah, pop it up because I haven't got the, uh, I haven't oh. got no more. Two seconds, two seconds. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, oh. Cool. Have you got it? Yeah, basically, there we go. I'm just going to present. I see, I, sorry, I brought it up on my screen so I can see it. Cool. So, basically, teens make up most of the e-cigarette maker Jules' Twitter following. Apparently, they've had a study into, I mean, shit, teenagers use Twitter, apparently. <gasps> oh, my God. Unreal. I don't know. Bloody hell. I mean, but to be fair, who uses Twitter? Do I do. You, do you? Mm-hmm. I tried Twitter. It's it's just it's, it's awesome. Just, it's just texting. I, I'm I'm like what really? Um, but yeah, Reuters have had a look into this, and apparently, almost half of those who those people who follow Jewel on Twitter um, were 13 to 17 year old. Wow! Uh, according to this study published in JAMA. Pediatrics. Oh, so it was done by a pediatric. Uh, um, only ninety. Hang on, how does this work? Forty-five percent followed who followed Jewel were thirteen to seventeen years old. Only nineteen percent of Jewel, Jewel's followers were at least twenty-one. Those maths don't add up. Ah. No. Okay. So, so no. So that means. So that does that mean that the other. Oh, between 18 and 21. Uh, between 18 and 21. I guess so. But the thing is, is they're looking at moving the smoking age up to 21. Yeah. So, and this is... Uh, this is this is research from a year ago. So it is a year old. 
and you know how quickly things change social media wise. Well, it, um, it does say this study was not a controlled experiment designed to prove whether or how dual no. directly impacts vaping, vaping habits. And apparently, they manually block underage users from following their Twitter feed. So interesting how how they how yeah again. Mm. It's Twitter. It's social media. I mean, how are you going to know what's who's following what? But it's another it's another article that I was looking at. Going great. All they're doing is bashing Jewel. Uh, they're, they're trying. It, it's almost like they are trying to find evidence that Jewel are pushing their products towards teenagers, because they blatantly aren't. It just that teenagers have latched onto it. That there isn't this teenage pandemic or whatever they call it. There's a thing is right. Short of closing the company down, there's only so much Jewel can do to stop people being interested in their products. So all the research, all the research uh, into this has always said that um, teenagers with vaping tend to try it and, and then leave it. They'll try it a bit. Yeah, tried it. Great. Whereas research with smoking is teenagers tend to start smoking and get hooked. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you mean. And the thing is, it's like they they they've done literally everything. They've removed their flavors. Their packaging is boring. You know, at the end of the day, if people want to be interested in it, they're going to be interested in it. The only way you're going to stop people being interested in Jewel is for Jewel to just not exist. Yeah, but Jewel isn't. We keep banging on about Jewel, but over here, Jewel is like nothing. Nothing at all. No, Jewel get kicked out of vape shops here because of their yeah. untimely thing. And in the UK, it's not an issue because um, we run our shops properly and people get ID'd. Um, we haven't got people who seem to have this massive vendetta against the vape industry in the same way they do in the States in positions of thing and we don't have the fda which is the biggest thing i mean we've got the mhra which is everything that you know it's, it's all the testing it's got to go through it is you know you got to get yourself an ecid number for your products but we don't have big brother looking over us in such a way that the fda do where you know and, and luckily we have a forward-thinking nhs um so yeah, and I mean, as as Simon Watson's just said, all those teen dual users would have smoked. They are the. <sighs> it's it's America. It's spring break. I mean, it happens over here. Kids, always kids behind the bike sheds, smoking. <sighs> so it's that hard thing of oh yeah, we, we'd rather we'd rather them be vaping than smoking, but. Exactly, and the thing is, right? What they what they've inadvertently yeah. done is just increased teen health. <laughs> yeah, they've got something to try that's that's that is ninety five percent better than. Mm. In 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 twenty they years time, don't feel like they're doing something naughty. In twenty years time, watch the uh, anyone who's a teenager now when they're thirty five, forty, fifty, watch the cancer rates drop. <laughs> because they're not going to have thirty years of smoking under their belt. Yeah, that will be yeah, that will be entertaining. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Does I just, uh, yes, Reverend James has just said. Surely it's all about the blue. Uh, yeah, yeah, but again, I don't know whether the blue's taken off. Um, blue has not taken yeah. off like Jewel has. No, but uh, but Jewel hasn't taken off over here at all either. No, because basically, if the only places, and I, I was actually talking to a rep from a company called Aramax today, right? Yeah. Um, and he used to work for ICOS. And he said he had a really, he got, he was just abuse after abuse after abuse. And I said, well, fair enough. I get that. But, and, it, and I said, look, in the, well, in the South, you're going to have it. You're going to, you'll be able to sell your ICOS products. And in the North, in the Midlands, it ain't happening. Because they're very, very vaping uh, centric, as it were. So, 
it just, just just wouldn't happen. And the thing is, he said that they, they, they had a target. Icos had a target to get Icos into 100 vape shops within three weeks. It took them four and a half months, and they didn't even make it to 100, at which point they just gave up. Um, so, yeah. It's not vaping. That's the thing. It's, it's not vaping, and and I don't know how they thought they could be doing it. Um, if it was a if it was a stop smoking shop, then you could probably buy nicotine patches in there and maybe an ICOS. Uh, you know that that would kind of make sense. Uh, you could have you could have nicotine patches, an ICOS, vapes, because it's a stop smoking shop. That would make hmm. perfect sense. If it's a vape shop, you wouldn't go in there expecting to get nicotine patches. No, exactly. I mean, Simon's made a very interesting point. He says the research on effects of vaping can only be carried out with a generation who have never smoked. Yeah, it's true, though. You know <laughs> what they should do, right, is they should find five 18 year olds, right, who have never smoked in their life, never vaped, and give them a vape, zero nicotine. So there's nothing addictive in it. Um, and it's so it's still ethical. Give them a vape and say, look, you're using this for the next 25 years. <laughs> oh, yeah here you go how, how ethical is that oh by the way here's a vape um you just want to use it for the next 25 years we want to see if you die or, or get cancer or or, or, or or if your head explodes or, or whatever 25 years from now they put out a, a message or a, a sub a, you know a call in for saying it'd be it'd be, the, it'd be the equivalent of going right here's five kids they get the vape Right, you're vaping for 25 years. Here's another five kids. Right, we're going to give them a 20 pack, a, a pack of Marlboro every day for the next 20 years. You know, <laughs> we'll see which ones. You know, how many, how many of you live to be the longest? Yeah, I, I can't see that study actually getting any ground somehow. Oh, apparently, according to Orgy VPZ, I think Icos is a vaping product. Um, enough said. Um, <laughs> well, there you go. Or maybe, maybe in 25 years' time, they need to go right. We need to find people who never smoked but started vaping in around 2015. If you're one of those people, hit us up and we'll just do a full medical on you. Um, I don't know how you... I don't know what the ethics... There are a few people. I've, I've met a few vapors who have never smoked, but not very many. Uh, I, know, I, know a couple, I know a couple of people who... Um, I know one person who just started smoke, uh, vaping Zero Nick because his partner smoked and started vaping yeah and he used zero nick but i mean my other half's the same other she, than that, she, she vapes not. six milligram and didn't really vape before i did did she smoke mm. on and off but not uh to an addicted level it's more social um but yeah, uh, it's, it's a weird one. Right, let's go to some UK-based news. Now, it's, 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 this has been floating around Facebook for a couple of days now, maybe a day or two. <coughs> Sorry. Please don't die. You'll be leaving me on my own. <laughs> oh, is that what you're worried about? Yeah, that's it. I just... <laughs> <laughs> by, the way, by the way, nobody has, have you noticed nobody has commented on your egg? I know, I know. Maybe they just think it's so... Maybe... That's what they thought was underneath the hat all the time. Yeah, this is true. You, you, you've always had a hat on, and, and now you have no hat. <coughs> I think that's what wearing the hat did. I mean, to be fair, tonight is the first night in about six months I haven't been overheated uh, whilst yeah. being on the show. Because when you've got a hat and then you've got the headphones, you feel yeah. kind of enclosed. And I, 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 I'm not. Hi, night work. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a little while. Hope you're doing all right. Um, anyway, um, so basically, you'll have seen this. Oh my god, I'm eating popcorn right now, and a little bit of popcorn has decided to lodge itself in my windpipe. Okay. <coughs> while while you're coughing, can I ask you? Because you had, you had that done on Thursday, mm -hmm. um, and, and and you had it complete. It's it's, it's you're bald as a coat, mate. Yeah, I know. I've I've always wanted to do. Do you have to shave your head on a daily basis? No, about every three days. About um, every three days, but you do it's just a normal razor. Um, so I took, uh, basically the story is I went to a barber's, the guy didn't have a razor. He just had a buzzer. So he buzzed it down to a zero. I then went home and wet razored it. Um, okay, so that, that was, and then did, and you did that yourself. I did that myself. Yeah. Well, um, which is really easy to do, believe it or not. You just have to sort of feel around for the bits because you, you, you do it in one direction. It feels smooth. You do it in another direction. It feels like sandpaper. So you have to do it in different directions. Anyway, um, 
and shut up diddy um <laughs> and um <laughs> yeah anyway so and then, like, it's upside down it does by sunday morning it was feeling a lot like velcro i mean i'll probably do it again tomorrow night um it takes it takes like 20 minutes to do um and although you can't see it it feels like velcro and t-shirts get stuck to it like you put a t-shirt oh. on and it gets stuck on the the fuzziness Oh, cool. It is Velcro. Awesome. But my logic is, if you've got no hair, how can you have a receding hairline? It's it's receded that far back, it's now down to your ass. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just not there. But it is nice, and it kind of suits me. And luckily, I don't have any weird lumps in my head, which I'm quite glad about. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not angle grinding my head, did he? Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, you need to get one of these, and then you can just give it a bit of a you know get it get a nice a nice shine. You should shave your head, Chandler. Give it a button. Yeah, no. Um, it, I mean, to be fair. Yes. Look how long this is. Look, I can have it over my shoulder. Yeah, look, my headphones are not moving. The skin on leather contact. Stops the, uh, <laughs> anyway, to the point. Right, I'm going to share this and get on with things. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to be forever. We don't need Chris JB. We can we can uh, go off on tangents on our own. We've we've obviously learnt from the master. Oh, of course, of course. Right. So, um, we all know that there are companies out there that like to sell products they have no understanding of. Supermarkets are one of them, and so are Argos. Um, this one. Oh yes. Right. So basically, what Argos have done, and they've been selling these for a while, is. Argos, there we are, have been selling vape products. Now, you know that when you go to Argos, you don't see the product until you've bought it and it's in your hand, which can only be a good thing for vaping products. Um, so oh. what if you want a setup? What if something's gone wrong? What if yada, 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 yada? Now, it says here, it has come to our attention that the battery sold with the above, although they're below, e-cigarettes <laughs> overheating and result in injury. Yeah. What do I need to do? Well, it says, if you bought one of the above products from Argos, please stop using it immediately and return it to Argos store for a refund of $79.99. If were all of those were all of those kits $79.99? Uh, apparently so. I mean, if I bought an Inokin Proton kit for $79.99... Oh, Bloody hell. Jesus. Right, anyway. Or even um, Smock Mag. If you, if you paid Tuppence Apeny for you, I'd have slapped you. Well, ex exactly, exactly. I mean, ooh, right. Anyway, besides the point that it's all smock and inakin, inakin products are actually quite good. Now, smock is bad. Off the top of our heads, which of these have eighteen six fifties in them? The uh, mag, the mags, both mags. The, the proton does. Now, one of the privs does. Um, I one think of the privs does. Think it's black and chrome. I don't think uh, black and red. I don't think the chrome does. Are you sure it's not the? I'm. I'm gonna have to Google it. Hmm. Uh, are you sure it's not the uh, the mini? Because I've got the Priv Mini and it's got a lipo in it. But uh, I, I thought all of those were eighteen six fifties. Right. So I mean, we know that mags are right. We know yes. the mags. So what this says to me is that. And hear me out. This is just a, a train of thought. So I might be wrong. Uh, I might be right because we don't. I've know. Feeling, I've got a feeling it's the way my train of thought's going. Right. So. We know that it says that look, and we've got to go through what we know before we can surmise. So it says that it says the could cause overheating and result in injury. So one of two things is happening. The first thing being is that someone is trying to charge them via USB. Having bought it from Argos, they are none the wiser as to charge it because as far as I'm aware, Argos don't sell 18650 chargers. Um, second thing is that some bellend has decided to not take care of his or her batteries has put terrible batteries into the mod it has overheated vented and destroyed itself now because it is very unlikely that argos have a vaping knowledgeable person in every shop um they probably the, the buyer of these products probably has some vaping knowledge otherwise they wouldn't know what to or what not to buy but in each shop you're not going to have someone that necessarily knows about vaping they're going to have gone shit this product has blown up we've got to recall all of them without even realizing what the issue was now it's probably not the mods even though it's smock um yeah the x x proves a dual both of those dual 18650s mm. 
Right, now they all have USB ports, don't they? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we could either just surmise that someone is using unbalanced batteries that have then vented because one's at full capacity and one's at almost no capacity, or the batteries are in terrible condition and have vented, or someone's turned it up to 200 watts and it's overheated and blown one of the batteries, or, well, it could, it could be a thousand thousand things but the point being is is that because argos as a company don't have a generic knowledge of it they've just gone sod it we'll recall all of it rather than trying to diagnose the issue and change the products they're selling do you see what i mean yeah i'm with it i i'm but i wonder whether my my thoughts sorry i was trying to check the intercon proton i think it's 18650 as well hmm. my thought is what they've done is they've bought all of these uh, they bought all of these mods because none of these mods obviously from Smok or Inakin come with batteries so Argos will have had to have sourced the batteries from elsewhere hmm. and it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if the batteries that they supplied to go with it didn't have a suitable amp rating exactly or they were fake uh, uh, they were either yeah either fake or didn't have the amp and yeah either way didn't have the amp rating um and that seems to be the issue but what they're doing is that the east they're making it sound like the e-cigarette products themselves are the issue and it's not even from there it's, it's come to our attention that the battery sold with these e-cigarettes could cause overheating so what do i need to do throw the battery away and buy a decent one because the mods that they've sold are fine yeah there's nothing wrong with them it's the batteries that are the issue and the thing yeah. is, is whenever i get broken mods or mods that won't start or mods that won't fire the first thing i do is check the batteries and eight yeah. times out of ten the batteries are the issue if it's a smock it's probably the mod but you how many times have you pulled open someone's batteries and you take them out and half the rat falls off with <laughs> and the and, and the thing is with people buying these products from argos what they're going to do is they're going to get it they're going to have the batteries they're going to put the batteries in they're going and that will be the last time that they open that battery door yes because they'll see that usb it comes with a usb cable that will be how they charge it all the time they will not even think i need an external battery charger because no one's mentioned it to him i bet it doesn't say anything about external battery chargers in i bet they don't even sell them in argos because they ought to if they're selling those but this is the thing is that argos probably have no inclination on training their staff how to use any of their products because they're simply not a company set up that way what's what's, what's the point what's the point because you go into i went into argos and i bought i bought these from argos and and what do I do? do? Do I go in there and say, "Oh, excuse me, what do, do you uh, any any suggestions on which is your best Bluetooth headphones that you that you've got?" Absolute bollocks! Uh, I just walk in there. I go, "Oh, which which headphones have you got?" Click it. I go up and pay for it. They bring the box out and hand it to me. There's no discussion over what I've bought, whether it's the the right product for the intended use it's literally you walk in pick what you want pay for it walk out with it oh, exactly i mean even david yeah. Watson's just said it's whatever you're going going for it'd be a lawnmower or anything you, there's no ooh, which is the, what sort of lawn have you got none of that you just go in buy your lawnmower and go yeah, I mean, David's saying in the chat, he just said they're just recalling the whole unit as a sold, as as sold and replacing it just to cover all eventualities. It's easier to do and better legally. If Argos, for fuck's sake, it's just easy. Now, Rev James Morley has made a good point. He said, so should mods stop coming with USB ports if external batteries? 1,000% yes, right? Think of, think of um, <coughs> Dean's, Dean's, Dean's squonk box that i the name of it has just fell out on my head vaping biker yeah right he did one without it now michael said no rev there's a lot of us update right you can make your usb port not connected to the batteries in any way there are some mods and i can't remember which one it, it's not in a kim mm. there are there are there is at least one manufacturer that has got a usb port and they had to put a uh, they had to um, re 
they call some, basically they were called their products and all they did was put a sticker next to the USB socket that said does not charge uh, update only yeah i think i think the geek because vape is because people is it geek vape i can't remember now who it was but but literally they just put the uh, people were plugging in trying to charge it nothing was happening and they were bringing it back going it's faulty no no it's not meant to charge your batteries and i think i mean to be fair though to be fair though uh, you know battery mooch yeah did it he did it go, go and look on battery mooch's videos on his channel it's excellent for battery safety information um uh, and he went through um using a mod to charge the batteries yeah if it is if it is a dual battery or a triple battery mod mm -hmm. then putting a two amp charge through it you should be fine it should be no problem whatsoever as long as it's got it's balanced cool. charging as as long as it's got balanced charging you do no not don't know what the balanced charging is now you're assuming it's got balanced charging yeah um, but so long as it's got uh, so long as it's two batteries you're fine it's when you've got a single battery mod that you start plugging into a usb that you start getting issues um but the issue is it's encased in your mod yeah and you don't know if anything goes wrong mm. if you've got an open if you've got an open charger you've got you've definitely <coughs> got charging protection in there you've got safety cutouts you don't know what's like you say has it got balanced charging you don't know <laughs> you, you don't know and the thing is is that i mean for people software updating right i've got and i generally have this one answer right you shouldn't need to update the software if the company designed it properly in the first place right now i can understand releasing updates for things like um if i mean even personalization does it i mean is that a thing like i don't know i feel like I don't know. The, the being a being able to being able to peer around with the dna software was fantastic yeah dna is an exception same with yee like being able to change things within the software is one thing having smock firmware updates every three weeks is probably not necessary um i don't know but it, surely they can just create their circuits what did I what did I update? The only the only mod that I've updated is my Relo two three. Yeah, that was I, I no, I think the only one I updated was um my drag. I updated I updated my two three because it the update introduced um you could get it to hit harder on the initial on the in initial fire press. You could set a preheat. Yes, you could. Yes, um, that was introduced on the update. So, so having an having be, having that option, but I, but I haven't updated anything else since. Um, there have been mods like my <laughs> oh my brain ceases to function. Amazing, but I mean, yeah, yeah. lost vape, lost vape sister company. Oh um yeah I can't remember the mod name. defined mod defined That's my okay. uh, my mod defined uh I I thought oh, it'd be great if they do an update where you've got different backgrounds uh, and they change the font and things like that and I keep checking their website for updates and there just isn't any Yeah I mean D David Mortram's also saying that he says name a uh, where, where where did he put it he said, "Name a mod that doesn't have balance. Yeah, name a recent dual cell mod that doesn't have balanced charging. I mean, yes, okay. I, get, I don't know, but a lot of a lot of mods are series um, internals. My RX, my RX two three. Um, I used that. I, I charged batteries in that uh, a few times. Now then, it when it was in dual mode, it would charge the two batteries up fine overnight." Yes, I did it overnight. But if you've got three batteries in there, it, it would take like three days and it still wouldn't have fully charged all three batteries. Well, this, this is, do you also remember the RX200? It used to charge two batteries to full and then the third one would always be somewhat less than the other ones. It, it just wouldn't. It, it, it just never. I never managed to fully charge three batteries in that mod whatsoever. Well, 
So the reason the reason being is that the battery meter reads one of the batteries um, for charging. Anyway, as far as I'm aware, it reads one of the batteries. So when one of them gets to full, it stops because it hasn't got the ability to recognize three separate cells. It sees those three batteries as one cell. So when one gets to full, it stops, and the others are just left where they are. Uh, okay. Um, although apparently someone once said to me that the RX 200, the three battery mod, it was two batteries for power and one battery for the screen. <laughs> but whether that's true or not, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's true. Uh, because obviously the two, three, you could take off the third battery. No, I'm talking about the, the old 200. But the old 200, yeah, I, st I still don't think that's true either. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, and another good point was made, uh, I think Diddy said it actually. Let me have a quick look back through the chat. Um, Argos should just sell mods with lipos. So, yep. mods that are designed. I mean, that would be the easiest way to do it. Um, so, really? yeah, they, should be, they shouldn't be. To, uh, if they're selling, do they, do they sell replacement packs of coils? Do they sell battery chargers? Should we have a look? Yeah, I, I'm actually I'm actually intrigued now as to what. Um, go on, do it on. Do it. Share the screen. Share the screen and do it. Share the screen and do it. Share the screen. All right, give me a second. So, uh, so you've got to go on to Argos, log on, um, make sure everybody sees your password as you type it in. I don't have a password, and I'm I don't have an Argos account. So, okay. I'm just gonna search vaping. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me present. I, I like that. I like the fact that you go to Argos. Oh, is this no? Is this is this what you were looking at to start with? This is the original thing I was looking at to start with. So okay, that's all right. I I didn't know whether that was on the uh, homepage product recourse. So we've got plenty of little start kits, pod kits, whatnot, Aquavape, Vipe, the Smock Stick, Prince e-cigarette. Um, we got the Vipe e pen three. Kind of don't you know? I'm not surprised to see that stuff. Blue Inikin Gem e-cigarette. Um, so all of this, all of this stuff, I'm I'm not overly concerned with because it's all lipos it's all lipos and it's all basic stuff you know we're not talking about a 200 watt mod here um no. has anyone else noticed that i mean i love that they put down this 80 20 as a starter kit that's pretty funny um a what starter kit so th this mod here that takes thick juice um is the socialites expert 80 20 starter Does that, this is this has always been a thing in vaping um your 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 smock kits they they would smell smell they would sell these and call it a starter kit just because um, it comes with everything it comes kit with tank yeah, yeah yeah it comes with your tank coil mod yeah that's a starter kit mm. um, so, but yeah that's that's always been a thing but, so oh look the cool fire mini it says aqua no. by inakin well that's bollocks um all right, page two. Let's see where they're going. Page two. I noticed there aren't any smock products on here other than the prints. Um, oh, we got the I Sub V Tang, the Vortex Edition. Okay. Again, not heard of that one. Oh, here we go. These are the first coils. Ah, four. Uh, well, we've got the Zenith coils. Zenith is actually not a bad tank. Uh, the Aquavape, the Gem. Gem, yeah. We have oh, the smock, smock coils. TFV12. Prince coils. Is that the only tank they sell? Because you, you could you can see Argos getting into the, a whole load of shit with smog. Oh god, with yeah. Tanks, coils. I was only having this discussion. I went into um, Knights Vape this morning, mm. and it, he was going, "Yeah, this part of my counter, this part of smock. my counter is all smock coils." And while I was there, a bloke came in and went, "Have you got a coil for this?" Uh, no, maybe. <laughs> maybe Fox. which one have you got is it the micro mini prince baby or is it the oh, tfb12 prince mini v2 it uh, doesn't help it doesn't help that some of them are called pr uh, minis in uh, sorry babies in america and mini over here and it's like what yeah we've uh, also got sorry. my blue products we've got the zenith tank this is the zenith nicotine tank um okay yeah. rather than the uh rather than the caffeine tank hmm or the uh, heroin tank. Yeah. Oh, Dave, wow. Dave, Dave Mottram seems to be quite impressed by the uh, prices. So, I mean, ooh, I mean, TFE-12s. TFE-12s for twenty six ninety nine. That's not actually the worst price. No, it's not, is it? That's, that's just what David said. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, this one you get two. Oh, my God, they sell rainbow. 
course they do. Of course they do. Oh, um, rainbow. Inakin Scion 2, that's not a bad tank either, actually, if I'm honest with you. Apparently, this one doesn't come with the glass. Uh, <laughs> look at it. Why does it say that? Sorry. No. It doesn't say it. It's just not there. Oh, there is no glass. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Right. Okay. And page three. Let's have a look at what oh, they got page three. This is where it gets interesting when they shovel the weird random stuff. Um, ooh, look at that coil. That's for the socialites. socialites. Oh my god! Yeah. Um, and... Oh look, that looks like it's something that's up your street there. The Aqua Vape Series Five Star Kit, Chandler. That looks like it's your sort of thing. It looks like the mod that I left in the other room. Mm. The um, my Kanga Tech. Um, and, and that seems to be it. So there are no dual eighteen six fifty mods on there. Okay. It seems they've removed all of them. So, well, that's, um, well let, let's try, just... try, try type it. Yeah, try smog. Right, here we go. So, smog is no, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, the thing is, if you buy that TFV 12, what the hell are you putting it on? Um, well, it's not going to be on your Inakin starter kit. <laughs> Uh, no, maybe they're just selling it as a replacement for the Smock Stick Prince tank. I don't know. Um, have you noticed, though, that all tanks have a certain look to them nowadays, though? Yeah. They all, they've I, all got I, some I, kind I, of acrylic tip. They've all got a swingy open tank. Um, I actually, as you were scrolling up, the first time you brought it up, I actually thought, oh, they've got the Horizon Tech Falcon. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that tip and went, oh, it's the Falcon. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's not the Falcon. But yeah, so they've, they, they've, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen vape companies with a worse selection than that, but. Yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think Argos should be selling um, dual 18650 uh, mods in the first place. So I don't think it's any, it, it's a bad thing. Um, just that their, their recall is a bit scaremongering. Because it's the battery. I, I, I'm 90% sure that it's the batteries that are at fault, not the mods. Well, they, 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 will, they, will have supplied, they will have supplied. They will have supplied them. They will have sourced the batteries from elsewhere. Of course they will. And they won't know what to look for because they just see that it's the right size and that's it. I mean, the chat is on fire tonight about this sort of thing. So you've got Dave Motram says, to start you off on the path of stock coil slavery, yeah, I um, mean, he says though to tell you what the prices aren't as ludicrous, and spend hundred pound get a ten pound voucher back. <laughs> Diddy comes in with fifty percent off garden furniture, um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the same sort of reason they do if it was a Dyson. I mean, yeah, you got click to on, click on the click on the smock kit on, on, and see if there are any reviews on there, just just for sheer entertainment. Frank. I'm uh, not going to share it for a second. I'll, I'll read you some if there are. Oh, okay, okay, it's got an overall rating of four point four. Um, there's 14. Dave, sorry, Dave, sorry, Dave's just put it'd be the same type of recall they'd do if it was a Dyson, though. No big deal, but no, the issue, but the issue is not so much the, the recall, be, it's, it's the view of yeah. the vaping industry. No, no, the, the, the issue would be if if the if Dyson came if you used your Dyson with oh, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, that's like saying if you try to stock up your bath water with a Dyson. No, 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 no. It, it, it's it's like obviously Dysons don't use eighteen six fifty batteries, but if um, it's like it's like directly wiring it into a yeah, generator. It's, it's it's the it's the equivalent of of saying the um, oh yes the three pin plug that we put onto the the Dyson um, is is not of sufficient standard. Um, it, it's not the Dyson's fault. It's what Argos have done. That's what Argos have added to it. You know, it, it, a Dyson's a difficult example because it's all uh, it's all Dyson. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it, it's hard to come up with. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's hard to come up with um, metaphors. That's the word I was looking for. There you go. Dyson should do duct vape products. There yeah. you go. Yeah, if they if they did, it would uh, it it would cost five hundred pounds, and it would purify the air before it. Uh, uh, purify the vapor before you inhaled it so basically anything made by billet box um 
<laughs> let's be honest, 500 pounds is not a lot in the world of Avi. So anyway, some of these reviews. This is for the Smock Prince. It says, works as it says on the tin, good value for money, easy to use, carry light, all worth, all round worth the PR. Um, it says, shame no carry case was included, eight out of 10. Uh, let's read more reviews. These are fun. Um, Sorry, Orgy, Orgy's put, just put Dyson uses 21700s in their cordless hoovers. I suppose it would be the same thing if, 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 um, if Argos decided to replace those 21700s with cheaper ones. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, that's all right. Um, people go and, oh, it was great that I could order it and reserve it, blah, 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 blah. Um, not too pricey. First turbo mod, although you cannot control much other than on and off. <laughs> They are they the the mods that they've got for sale on there now are pretty basic, aren't they? They're literally it doesn't mean they're bad though necessarily. No, it doesn't. No, I'm not saying that they're bad. They're literally on and off. Yeah, of course. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would say most all of my pod systems are on and off. I haven't got any adjustable pod systems. No, that's true. There's there's very few adjustable pod systems. So... Anyone hear a high pitched noise? Um... Is it yeah, Mike? it's probably Chandler's fan. It's not that bad, I don't think. Uh, maybe I can't tell what they um, they can hear. I think you're just getting the, you're probably getting attuned to it. Lucky you're Bakes, just, can you smell toast? toast? If you can smell toast, then you might be having a stroke. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm so getting straight on August. Uh, August? Argos, when this finish, is going to get a cool fire four again. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Cool Fire 4 Mini. It's not the old school one. Oh, didn't the Cool Fire take 18650? Uh, no. No, that was all. Cool Fires are all internal. All internal. Yeah, they, yeah, they were, weren't they? Uh, although, to be fair, they're bulletproof, man. Like, I get people coming in who have had like four or five year old Cool Fires that still work perfectly. I mean, they're not. Like... <laughs> You've got one, haven't you? No, I haven't. I haven't. I've got a. I'm going to have to take it out of the sleeve, an e leaf. Um, is that the 30 or the 50? 50. 50 what? Uh, let me see. You'll see the battered state of it when I get it out of the sleeve. Oh dear. I gave up on sleeves. I had a sleeve for my RX 100. I stick, I stick 50 watts. Oh, it's immaculate. It, it, except for the front of the screen where it's a bit battered. Ah, well. Uh, but hang on, here we go. Here's, here's the test. <laughs> Rev James Morley just said, I'm vaping jam on toast. Is it a stroke? <laughs> Hey, look, it's come on and the battery is still full. Oh, Stuart Legg has corrected me. Has he? There what? was a, there was an 18650 version. Ah, I thought there was. I, I've never seen it. And I've seen quite a few. I, I, I haven't, haven't owned, owned one, but uh, but there you go. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So yeah, that is, that is just nuts. I, I bought that years ago and it's still, it's still going. I um, mean... And it was a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It's ridiculously large. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've just picked up a device. I haven't got it to hand. Um, it looks, it's basically a small company called Steeped Vape Coat. Um, I've, I actually did a giveaway on my channel for one of their devices that the guy never picked up. Um, anyway, they've just given me a big one, big pen device, because that seems to be the thing, like sub ohm yeah. pen device. And actually, that's got a 3,200 mile battery. So, <gasps> P4s. Sorry. MVP4s. I had an MVP3. Oh, going going back onto the old onto the going back onto old school. Oh. <laughs> I don't believe how reliable they were. I mean, that everyone seems to have a go at E-Leaf, but their mods just seem to be bulletproof. Well, mm, there's a caveat with that. If they're not bulletproof, they break day one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I have heard tales of people who have said, "Yeah, it's just yeah. the biggest." The biggest issue with E-Leaf mods was there the the uh, was it the twenty watt right? Is that after a while because they had a brass five ten, the five ten would just wear away, then your tank would fall off. Um, they updated I, that for the newer versions. I bought the uh, I bought the twenty watt. You know the temp control first temp control one. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Was it thirty watt? And either way, I bought the first the, the temp control one off a market stall in Barnsley. Took it home, screwed it on, and the, I don't know whether the five ten wasn't spring loaded or what, but it just wasn't making any contact with the atty. I took it back, 
and gave it to, uh, and, and said to the bloke, look, it's not working. I either want my money back or a new one. Mm. Um, and he took my, he took it off me, cranked the, my Ation so hard. Yeah. I couldn't get it off. <laughs> and gave it me back and went, oh, oh well, never mind. I was like, what? What? Well, Dave he, he didn't know what he was doing. He just went, Bleh! and I'm like, oh god, it won't come off now, you dick. Mm. But anyway, there you go. Uh, David Mottram's just said he said I've killed five picos and three pico squeezes. David, I I don't think the mods are the issue. Um, <laughs> if, you've killed, <laughs> if you've killed eight pico mods, the mods probably aren't the problem. What are you doing to them? In fact, I know people that have do got... Know, you do know that they're not supposed to be inserted rectally, don't you? Mm. Chandler found that out the hard way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Pico squeeze didn't mean squeeze they between the cheeks. They go up a little easier sideways. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> the squeeze does not mean squeeze between the cheeks. No, that's true. Um... <laughs> uh... no, no, Dave just said, Nakas, all user error, defo. Well, you said it, not me. Um... Dave, he says, he's been meaning to get a power stick for mouth to lung. That, that, that 50 watt, because that's what I used it for, that 50 watt had my... So the setup I used for about... For about three years, nearly? Yeah. What, what, what did you say? There you go. That was, that was it. it. Uh, I think it's about 4,000 milliamp hours. I don't know whether it says on the, on the thing. <laughs> Because the was it the E Leaf iStick Power has is a five thousand mAh battery. If you've opened that mouth to long, you'll never ever have to charge it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick bit of Google for. Cool. And in a moment, we're gonna move on to your Instagram. Four thousand four hundred milliamp hours. It's even more than I thought. It's ludicrously large. Um, I used to I used to one point eight. Uh, 1.8 ohms I'd have in there, usually. Uh, vaping at about 11 to 12 watts. Um, it would last me Monday to Friday. But see, the reason is, is because you haven't been straining the battery, it's not been emptying out quickly, the battery's going to last that much longer. And even if it has lost some of its life, it's still bigger than most batteries. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and I'm now... I'm now a bit miffed because it's now not recognizing the battery, uh, the atomizer. <sighs> well, that was its death knell. Um, oh dear. Should we, should we, should we give the, um, should we give the Instagram a go and see if a potato is too hard? Because you came back in immaculate form for about ten seconds. Did I? Yeah. Just go oh, to your computer and see if you've got anything in the background that's going to be cooking your internet speed. Let's 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 get my task manager up and see if I'm what I'm running Cortana. That's always used. No, Google Chrome. No, I need that one. Yeah. Uh, I've got get messing. Rid get rid of Cortana. That's going to be using loads of internet. Uh, how do I turn that off? Look at me trying to turn shit off. Sure you can just right click on it and go end task. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's two of them for some reason. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's got, and it came straight back on again. Mark's oh. here. Hello, Mark. Yes, bear with me a second. Okay. Hello. So right, I'm just trying to see if I can actually uh, get my internet. You, you watch this. The guy that's turning up from uh, halfway across the world is going to have better internet than me. Yes. Looking sweaty, Mark. How's it going? Okay, good. Um, I'm to ah. I do then. How are we all doing? Good. How are you? How are you in the in the uh, having fun in the sun? Um, it's good. It's good. Um, I, I, I saw you getting to, to uh, you know, getting to grips with your your uh, inner Star Wars. Uh, my inner Star Wars, to be fair. Your inner Wookiee. Uh, 
Well, I had to get some video footage for you. Wouldn't be yeah. fair. Wouldn't be fair coming without it. Once I, I turn the team I was, I was so jealous. You, you, you were there with like stormtroopers walking, and and and, a, and someone who looked incredibly like Phasma. I don't know who any of those are. To be fair. That's fine. I didn't think you would, but you know, I thought it was worth a try. Any luck, Chandra, on your internet? Yeah, I, I've turned off as much as I can. That's if so I, weird. If, if I start turning other things off, it'll it'll start. You got any tabs you can get rid of, or I've just turned all my tabs off. Crazy. Right, and I'm looking forward. The only, the only, the only. We've got a lovely silhouette of you there, Mark. It looks like he's about to give a kidnap ransom. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you got the window right behind your head. Yeah, I've done it. That's there better. you go. There we go. There we go. That's better. We can see your beautiful face. Why is that bring chat up, man? <laughs> yeah. So basically, we forgot that um, Chris wasn't on this week, <laughs> um, and I found out five minutes before the show. I did see that in the chat. Yeah. 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 Well, Chris, you're, you're looking as though you'd hate the weather here, Cass. Yeah. I'd hate it. Yeah. Well, at least that big squeaky thing on the top of your neck would. <laughs> is he just, is he just yeah. loading me from chat? Well, at least. Does Does that mean that the top of his head would end up exactly the same colour as his chin? <laughs> more than likely. More than likely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I just sweat. I just sweat and sweat and sweat. No, Keith, Chris is not on, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> we, we have been doing our best to um, uh, to, to go off on tangents. As yeah, just, just the odd one here and there. Uh, Sorry, I've just noticed something that Dave Mottram said about uh, half an hour ago. Wiggle the 510 pin up with a toothpick. I remember doing that. I do it with a flathead. Hang on, toothpick. There we go. I'm going to try that. Sorry, carry on, and I'll let you know if it works. All right, so, Mark, I've been meaning to ask you in front of everyone, what is the vaping uh, options like out there? Um, from what I've seen, it's pretty gash, to be fair. Um, I've seen a few stands with outlet centres. I've seen a handful of shops at the side of the road. Um Nothing really. I really, really, really wanted to... Uh, Florida, Andrew. Um, I really wanted to get into uh, go see the guys in Fast Eddies, but unfortunately we've just not had time. Oh, what, Fast Eddies is in Purge Fast Eddies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they Florida-based? They're, they're literally just down the road, yeah. Oh. Can, uh, what, have you got any time coming up before you leave? I doubt it. I doubt it. With my message's schedule... I've barely got time to shit, let alone anything else. <laughs> what time is it there now? Uh, we're well, yeah, on 20 to 5. That's not too bad, then. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, Stuart's just said, are many people vaping? No. I don't I know see... I, I, saw, I saw someone in the, went to um, Ralph Lauren today, and, again, there was a few of these little... Mexican outlets, um, and I saw a guy stood there with a CE4. I was like, you know what, fair play. And I sort of gave him the, and he was British, so I'm guessing he just brought it. Uh, he'd, he'd left his at home. Yeah, but I honestly, the only people that I've seen are typically British. What the hell? Wow. That's sad that you guys go all the way to America and just run into British people. And ironically, we were, again, last week, we were in another Ralph Lauren shop. And, um, Who's buying all the Ralph Lauren? Huh? Who's buying all the Ralph Lauren? You are? Yeah. Did you you get here. What's that? They have sizes we don't have at home. Ah. Right. What, like um, 27XL? No, I'm not an XL. What? I'm long. Hey? I'm large, large and long. Their sizes are completely different. So you, are you bringing me back okay. a cheeky Ralph Lauren polo? Uh, well, as I said to Mark Ski earlier, if you'd have got your order in, I'd have sorted it out. I didn't know you were going to Ralph Lauren. 
I think the polos, what did I pay? $65. Uh, they were 80 less 30%. So, uh, that's 24 So, yeah, I was uh, $55. Very nice. So, yeah, literally, they do have something for Chris JB. <laughs> they do. They do. Something would fit Chris over there. Isn't isn't he like a normal extra large or something over there now? I think it'd be a double XL out there. No, not now. I think it'd just be an XL. Jesus. But I put on an XL to me, and XL to me is too big. I love not being huge over there, over here. Yeah, because they've got proper sizes out there. Because you was because you because you was. Uh, we had this discussion when we were at Chris's wedding, and you were saying it's not necessarily the the size for you; it's the length. You you, you you don't you get a, you get a t shirt that barely comes to your trousers. Wow, these look at that! These are long, and they barely. I mean that that would be like a dress on me. And, and ideally, you want to be covering your crotch when you're walking around Disney. So, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Yeah. Thought it'd just be the law. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and, and, and the Americans are obsessed by lines. Lines, not, and not good lines. I mean, sir, can you step behind the line? It was like, literally, you've got like four millimeters of my toe over a piece of painted shit on the floor. And sir, behind the line. They love that sir, madam thing, don't they? To be fair, and I, I said this to Lindsay earlier, um, I'm sick and tired of happy Americans. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could just you know what I'm saying, don't you, Chandler? Yeah, it's the hi, good to see ya. Well, you. Everyone get right. One thing that gets to me, and I'm sorry if I'm going on. One thing that gets to me is my daughter being called a princess, and it's one thing the in-laws and everything. I've always said, please don't call her princess. She's not a princess. She's a human being. Every fucker here calls a princess. Oh, God. Hey, princess. Hello, princess. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can, always take, you can always take consolation in the fact that whilst they're really happy on the outside, they're probably dead on the inside. From saying <laughs> <that. laughs> uh, but saying that, look at the property prices out here. Yeah. I mean, my, I, I remember a few years back, my, um, my dad was out in uh, West Virginia of all places he was doing a photography job out there and he found a house that had 200 acres of land a forest a lake six bedrooms and an indoor swimming pool for the equivalent of seventy five thousand pounds yeah you're not going to get that in orlando it's um but here what are we in here we're in a four bed three bath um was it a condo <laughs> Ooh, i don't know if it'll focus very well Hey! <laughs> Pull out back. Uh, is the food cheaper? No. I don't think it would be. I think the I think the food's more expensive here. Um, okay, don't get me around. Fast food is really good value for money. It's, in 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 America, it, a, a lot of people literally eat out all the time. That that that's why you can buy apartments. Um, and you can specify whether or not it has a kitchen. Yeah. Because yeah. so many people, yeah. especially places like kitchen or what have you. you it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but... It's, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> glad, you got, glad you got your bra on this time, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been fun. Um, but no, I, I could quite happily live in this. Happily. Oh, you can go, Mark. I'm just putting back in the No, it's okay. Yeah, but their properties blow away after the first hurricane. To be fair, um, Steve, a uh, member of our family, um, he's having to rebuild all his, um, having to rebuild a lot of his stables and stuff. They've just had a quite a harsh, harsh hurricane. But, no, yeah, I'd. I'd happily up sticks. Lin Lindsay's always wanted to own a motel. A motel? 
okay. customer service in a hotel. Can you imagine that? Well, was her, her, maiden name, her maiden name wasn't Bates, was it? <laughs> we had this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, right, you could, your advertising point could be with classic British service. So they come in and be like, you're right, fam. Uh, <laughs> you want to you want a room no you cannot have a room get out uh, like <laughs> tr trouble is that they're, they're, they're classic they're classic um british service they would ex be expecting john please yeah from faulty oh, wow, that, that would be brilliant that would be awesome wouldn't it yeah brilliant what are you doing here right. yeah. chandler hello i'm just gonna see whether your quality here has increased probably not no, you're still a potato. Um, let's okay. try. Let's try Instagram. I was going to say, do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? It, it, it cleared back to normal, so I know it's definitely your end because it cleared back to normal for about two, two, two minutes, and now it, and then it's shit again. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll go. I'll only go through. I'll go through a couple then, shall I? So uh, I saw this one from Grim Green. Uh, it would help if I turn it on, wouldn't it, so we can see it? Um, Grim Green posted this on his Instagram. This is. Uh, do you want to present me? Uh, yes. I could... <coughs> there you go. <coughs> now, now to me, that looks crystal clear, but obviously my video feed is not going out anywhere. It's, it's just, just, just about working out. Mm. Um, yeah, basically, it's nicely mirrored it for me, which is useful. Um, yeah, basically, this was done by a group, uh, by, a, by a class, a school class. Um... And yeah, uh, what's that? Rat, rat poison, acetone. How are they hiding leads in there? You'd choke on them, surely. Antifreeze, <laughs> tar. I mean, what? Apparently, all of this is in a is in a duel, and this is what they're teaching them in school. I mean, that's just that's not even misinformation. That's just wrong. It's that's just bullshit. completely. That's a bullshit. Completely and utterly, and they are they are. I, either the kids just decided to do this on their own. Mm. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You can't say that. The kids have not done this on their own. The kids have been purposely led into this. Why on earth would a... Did you say how old the kids were? It, uh, no, it doesn't. That, that list has been written on a whiteboard for them to add to their pictures. And they've memorised it. Antifreeze, rat poison, arsenic, glee. What they probably don't going? even know what acetone is. No. Oils my piss. How many and they're, and they're are actually in vape? And these kids are going along thinking it's healthier to smoke than it is to vape. Yeah. It's 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 frightening. The you, I think because we're over in the UK, we don't quite realise the level of animosity and misinformation that they have. I've not seen that many people smoking. I, I'm just seeing like Keith. Joe, have you seen many people smoking over here? No, I saw, I was behind somebody in one of the parts the other day, and I worked at the restaurant, and I thought, well, that's unusual. Yeah. But I've seen a few days. Well, you've seen a few. I've literally seen a handful. No, not many smokers at all. Oh, by the way, if you're sad to see Keith go, stick five pound in the super chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> You do it. You're doing well, Kaz. That is the first time you've mentioned Super Chat. Yeah, I know. I just, I just remembered it existed. Um... <laughs> oh, so yeah, I, I, I saw, just saw that and thought, oh my god, what the hell is going on? It, it just brings to life the. Think, think. If this is the misinformation around vaping, think about what the misinformation around literally any subject on the planet is like. <laughs> oh, it's just. Just going to be nuts. So right, let's let's go for something else. Oh yeah, I, I know I've done this before, but it's a different one. So it's obviously catching on. Is that it? Is that a voop tray? This is a this is a uh, voop tray. Um, I, I have posted one of these before, but obviously they they are becoming you know they are catching on. So find them in a toilet coming near you. Make some ideal Christmas present. Do people not know how bathrooms work? I mean, when you... Okay, right. Chandler, do you flush with the lid down or the lid up? Uh, quite often with my ass still on it. Do you flush whilst you're still sat on it? 
Oh yeah, it washes your ass at the same time. Right, it's like okay. a little little bee day. For anyone that isn't you're now aware, gonna, you're now gonna you're now gonna mention the toilet plume, aren't you? Yeah. So for anyone that isn't aware, and I bloody well hope all of you do do know this, if you flush with the lid up, you are covering your entire bathroom in poop particles, uh, including this. And I mean, it's, you still get a bit of it when you got the lid down. But the point is, this person is covering their vape. I mean, they probably go, "Oh, you know what? I'm having a poop. I'm gonna wipe, vape, wipe, vape, wipe, vape." Ooh, this this. This juice tastes are like shit. Are you, are you telling me you do not take your vape into the bathroom? Not a chance. Really? Mm -hmm. Mark, do you take your vape into the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I'm going in there to brush my teeth and I've just have it in my hand, that's one thing. But I don't go in there to vape on the bog. Oh, I can, I can, I can have my, I can have my vape in one hand and my todger in the other. You know, quite happily. Are you, are you a sit down wee kind of guy? Oh no no, that's that's a, that's a stood up. That, that's that's standing up, you know, um, because that, that that's even better because I can have the bathroom window open and I just blow the vape straight out the bathroom window. Do you have any issues with wanking and vaping? Mm, no, but I do struggle. Uh, I I have to vape, put it down, and then pick the phone back up again. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear! Oh dear! So anyway, there we go. Next, oh, uh, swiftly, swiftly moving on. There you go. Have you seen these? Uh, I, 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 even now, I still haven't. <laughs> <laughs> For the modders amongst us, these are a, a, a new set of battery tubes. And the interesting thing is how you wire them up. Look, um, you can literally put solid wire rods uh, in to wire it up, um, which just kind of intrigued me. I'll have to take your word for it, Chandler. I I'll really yeah. the okay, I just thought I'd show you that because that that just just uh, just intrigued me for that one. What, what, so, what, We'll do is we'll post all of these photos on the Facebook group for anyone that actually wants to see what's going on. And I'll put them onto the. I, I might even actually put them onto the uh, Instagram, Ooh, which yeah. is kind of where they came from. So that would be quite useful. Wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay. Again, you can't see this, but get a load of this. Is it a flute? No, but it does look more like a clarinet. To be fair. Does, okay. Does it have anything to do with rectums? No. Anything does if you're brave enough. <laughs> uh, it's just basically a steampunk stacked mod. What's it got on top of it? That looks like a CE4. It does look like a CE4. Actually, it looks it looks more like I wish can I zoom in? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna no, no. no. And zooming in can only make the the situation worse. No, it's only gonna make it worse. It actually looks like a car a, a cartomizer with a uh, with a tank around it. Does anyone remember that mod that was basically the handle of a motorbike? Oh, Mark Todd had one, didn't he? It looked like the it, it was yes with a with a brake lever on it as well. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was awesome. I wanted so wanted one of those. Someone was selling one of those recently. Oh no. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Uh yes. Okay. So continue. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. I've got I've got two that I haven't l I haven't named. What's that? Oh yes, look at that. That is it, 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 it. apparently uh, Mark, talking of Mark Todd, he posted this and said received this today, and I wasn't too sure whether he was talking about the um, atti or the stand, but I'm assuming it's the stand. Um, it, it it looks like something from from the Crystal Maze. I couldn't tell you what either of those are. Uh, yeah, so, so far I see a tank and then a silver and red blur. I think that could be a skull. The silver and red blur is a skull. I must admit, it is quite tricky to pick the detail out of the uh, photo, as even when it's in decent resolution. All right, I've found a life hack. Right, what you got to do is you got to hold your phone camera up to your yeah. screens, and everything becomes high res. 
I'm not. I don't believe it. What? One hundred percent. I can see what it is now. Okay, you're just pointing your phone at the screen and looking through the screen. Uh, they're telling me to move farther away. Okay, that is that is that is a little strange as to Isn't why it? that would work. Don't know, but it works anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can read that it says Todd reviews up the top. I can read down the bottom that it's been liked by someone called Dave, David. Is that? And that there's 114 other people that have liked it. There you go. So it just looks because it, because it's it's it looks like it's made out of resin, but it's got that crystal effect on the top, and I can't work out what it's made from. It, but it looks. Mm. I just went what? Anyway, there you go. Definitely What's the other one that I haven't named? Oh, I just saw this one because it was shiny. Mm. Look how shiny that is. True mods. It's true. It's true and it's shiny. Amazing. Yeah. And one thing that I wanted to mention. Mm. Um, uh, news was leaked last week. There is going to be an ideal own show. Uh, it's, it's kind of um, promoting the uh, opposition, but they are having a meetup uh, at some point over the summer. Okay. And I think we ought to invade and uh, just say, look, hey, Vape Talk UK, we're here too. You know, just we just need to. They, you know, they, like, they didn't go for my name suggestion then. Mods, mods and rockers. Yeah, they, they didn't. My name suggestion was the uh, what do they call it? The Expo Jam Fest Collective. They didn't like that. You didn't like that one? No, I don't think so. No, but no, that'd be cool. When is it next summer? Uh, no, this 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 August, I think, at some point. I'm is it sure. going to be in the arse end of nowhere like Fest was? Uh, um, where do you live? Ipswich. No, Norfolk. Norfolk. Come around with um, that Ipswich talk. Well, yeah. I, it's, 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 from what I can gather, it's not going to be as far as, as uh, it's Shrewsbury. I don't think it's in Shrewsbury. Good. So, so yeah. So there we go. So keep your, eye, keep your eyes peeled as soon as we know exactly what's happening. Um, because I'm definitely going and it'll be good to uh, uh, see other folk there as well. So that'll be good. And right, I've got a couple of weird ones. Okay. Okay. So there is a current TV show on at the moment that's uh, quite big and of interest. And I found this. Is that Sansa Stark uh, vaping? Apparently so. Um, I, I'm. It's a little difficult to tell from the photo. She may just be thoughtfully sucking on a pen. At least she's not drinking a Starbucks. <laughs> I actually looked at it and thought, what scenes from that? And then it dawned on me that What's the Face has got sunglasses on. Yeah. Um, and and it, it suddenly dawned on me that they're actually chilling out between takes. But, you know. <laughs> I have got no idea what's going on here. Yeah, you haven't got a clue. This is, it, it's, um, this is Star Wars. This is on the um, planet Agrabah. Um, and... They're about, to, they're about to board the Starship Enterprise, and that's right. And they're going to go and battle the Daleks. I was talking to a um, an Imagineer the other day, um, and they were showing us all the stuff that happens and all the building. Did I take any photos? Probably not, because it didn't interest me in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. Is that your uh, Insta section for tonight, then, Chandler? One more, just oh. because. Just we've had no, we've had no tits yet. No, there is no tits. I'm so sorry, but I, I saw this one. Uh, I saw this one and went, "What the fuck? Really, when? When did we get to this point? <laughs> Seriously? The trick. The trick is that there is no route to the archery pal." Well, well, I don't get it. Well, they're, they're, they're fucking... No, I, I, I'm now pointing at the screen going, follow that one all the way back. Uh, I've um, it it. And I still have no idea what's going on. Yeah, basically, basically. What got, what got me was it's, it's, it's put the answer in the chat 
in a comment for a chance to win oh i can't read it backwards fine to get r3 pal 2 oh yeah for, for, yeah to get one a chance to win one of these mods and there's like three thousand comments of people going three it's the third no it's the second one it's, th it's a whole argument it's it's like it's a stupid kids puzzle why what the, what the fuck oh my god are we really resorting to this kind of yeah apparently my eyes are going around in circles please take it off the screen yeah okay it's, it's actually oh, yeah, but whatever oh, well right anyway um oh, dear so i think we're about there i think so i think we're about there um Thank you for joining us, Mark Mid America. Even though you're not in Mid America, you're in the South East. Um, yes, thank you. For, thank you for taking time out from your from your uh, frivolities and your relaxation time. Do you know what I'm going to do? It's, it's gonna five, do? five in the afternoon. It is thirty four degrees. Yeah, thirty four degrees and about ninety percent humidity. I'm going to go get in the pool. Have, have you not got air con? Yeah. Apparently, okay. no difference. Okay. Mm. So, um, next don't, week, don't we, should, get full. we should have the full four of us because it is episode 200. Anyone 200. that isn't there, is, <coughs> anyone that isn't there is fired. Um, <coughs> I think we ought to do a big giveaway next week. I think we ought to do something big for the show. So, you, if you guys can sort that oh, out. I'm on, a, I'm on a late shift. I'm on a late shift next Tuesday. No. I fucking am. Oh fucking bollocks! Um, I can swap it with someone. Yeah, swap it. Um, yeah, I've got some stuff to give away. I think maybe Mark can find something. Maybe. Maybe. Otherwise, I'll just supply the giveaway with some stuff. But yeah, we'll do something. We'll put something up on the Facebook in due course. Um, but thank you again for watching us. Um, even though, you know, we managed to blag through for an hour and a half before Mark came on. So, I'm pretty impressed with that. <laughs> So yes, thank you guys for watching us. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And um, drop us a comment in, well, anywhere you like. Um, and find us on Facebook, Vape Talk UK. We shall see you guys next Tuesday around 8. Adios, motherfuckers. Bye-bye.